today's lesson, we will discuss changing improper fraction to mixed numbers and vice versa. But before we proceed to our main task, let's first define improper fraction. Improper fractions are fractions wherein the numerators are greater than the denominators. Okay, so let's take a look at this example. As you can see, each pool is divided into four parts. And yung isang part niya is equivalent to one-fourth. So, lagyan natin yung isang shaded part is equivalent to one-fourth. So, bibilangin natin lahat ng shaded part. Ilang shaded part ang makukuha natin. So, we have 10 over 4 na parts or shaded parts. And 10 over 4 is an improper fraction since ang kanyang numerator na 10 is greater than the denominator na 4. So, this is how we visualize an improper fraction. Okay, so how about mixed fraction or sometimes we call it as mixed number. Mixed fraction is number always expressed in a whole number and a fraction. So, mix siya ng whole number at ng fraction. Okay, so let's take a look at this example. So, yung 4 over 4 is equivalent to 1 whole. So, ilang 1 whole ang atin nakikita? Sa and dalawa. Then, ito namang fraction na to is expressed as 2 over 4. So, kung pagsasamahin natin sila, meron tayong dalawang whole number. And ang fraction natin na 2 over 4 can also be written as 1 half. Kapag simplify natin ng 2 over 4 is 1 half. Therefore, 2 and a half is an example of a mixed fraction since meron siyang combination ng whole number and a fraction. Okay, so since we already know how to differentiate improper fraction from a mixed number, here are now the steps in changing improper fractions to mixed number. So first step is we divide the numerator by the denominator. Then after that, we express the remainder as a fraction. And lastly, we write the whole number and the fraction together. Okay, so let's have an example in changing improper fraction to mixed number. So 10 over 4 is an improper fraction, so we're going to change this to mixed number by dividing the numerator by the denominator. So we have 10 as the numerator and we will divide it by the denominator na 4. So 10 divided by 4. How many 4s in 10? So meron tayong makukuhang dalawang 4 sa 10. And 2 times 4 is 8. Then subtract 10 minus 8 is 2. After dividing the numerator by the denominator, we express the remainder as a fraction. So, anin ba dito ang remainder? Yung 2. Yung 2 yung ating magiging numerator. And yung 4 yung ating magiging denominator. So, magiging 2 over 4. And yung 2 over 4 ay pwede pa natin i-express sa lowest term. So, i-divide natin ang 2 over 4 sa 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, yung 2 over 4 ay magiging 1 half in lowest term. Okay. Third step is we write the whole number and the fraction together. So, meron na tayong fraction. Kukunin na natin yung whole number na 2 at itatabi natin sa fraction. So, magiging 2 and 2 fourth or 2 and a half in lowest term or in simplest form. So, yung 10 over 4, when we express or change this into mixed number, will become 2 and 1 half. Okay, so we also follow steps in changing mixed number to improper fractions. So first step is we multiply the denominator by whole number. Then after that, we add the numerator. And lastly, we affix or copy the denominator. Let's have an example. Okay, for example, we will change 2 and 2 over 4 to improper fraction. 
So first step is we multiply the denominator and the whole number. So 4 times 2. Then add the numerator plus 2 and copy or affix the denominator. Okay, so let's simplify. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 2 and copy the denominator 4. 8 plus 2 is 10. Then copy or affix the denominator 4. Therefore, ang 2 and 2 over 4, when we change this to improper fraction, will become 10 over 4. Let's try other examples of changing improper fractions to mixed number. For example, 25 over 4. 25 over 4 is an improper fraction kasi mas magte ang numerator kaysa sa denominator. So, if we change this into mixed number, i-divide natin ng 25 sa 4. So, ilang 4 meron sa 25? We can get 6. Then, multiply 6 times 4 is 24. Then, subtract 25 minus 24 is 1. So, para ma-change natin siya into mixed number, kunin natin yung whole number o yung quotient natin na 6. Siya yung magiging whole number. Then, yung ating remainder will become the numerator and ang ating uh, divisor, siya yung magiging denominator. So, the answer now, when we change 25 over 4 to mixed number is 6 and 1 fourth. Okay, so you try another example. We change 35 over 8 into mixed number. So, again, we divide the numerator by the denominator, 35 divided by 8. So, ilang 8 meron sa 35? We get 4. Multiply 4 times 8. That is 32. Then, subtract. 5 minus 2 is 3. Okay, change na natin siya into mixed number. Kunin natin yung ating quotient na 4. Dago magiging full number siya. Then, yung ating remainder will become the numerator and the divisor 8 will become the denominator. So, when we change 35 over 8 into mixed number, the answer is 4 and 3 over 8. Let's have some practice exercise on how we change the mixed number to improper fractions. For example, 5 and 3 over 5. 5 and 3 over 5 is a mixed number because it has a combination of a whole number and a fraction. So if we're going to change this to improper fraction, we will just multiply the denominator by the whole number, then add the numerator, and copy the denominator. So we have 5 times 5 plus 3 over 5. Then simplify, 5 times 5 is 25, we add the product to 3, and copy the denominator, 5. 25 plus 3 is 28 over 5. Therefore, when we change 5 and 3 over 5 to improper fraction, the answer is 28 over 5. Okay, so how about... 2 and 5 over 6. Let's change this by multiplying the denominator by whole number 6 times 2 and add the numerator and affix or copy the denominator. Then simplify 6 times 2 is 12 plus 5 over 6. 12 plus 5 is 17 over 6. Therefore, 2 and 5 over 6 when changed to improper fraction will become 17 over 6. As we have observed from the different exercises, we have learned that improper and mixed fractions are related and can be changed to each other. So all you have to do is to remember this that when we change improper fraction to mixed number or fraction, we divide the numerator by the denominator, express the remainder as a fraction, and write the whole number and fraction together. On the other hand, to change mixed fraction to improper fraction, multiply the denominator and the whole number, 
add the product to the numerator and express the sum as fraction using the original denominator. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned from this video and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you so much.